Hi, hello. So today um, we are going to talk about my Hoya collection. Um, so I'm kind of going through all the species, types of plants. I don't know. I tech, I actually don't even know. Is it a species? Is Hoya a species? Um, anyways, so today I'm going to talk about my Hoya collection. I don't have a crazy amount of Hoyas. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I just have six. So it's not that many. So it'll be a pretty quick video. Seven. I have seven. But two of them are the exact same. Hold on, let me grab that. So I don't have a crazy amount of Hoyas. But um, the ones that I do have, I really, really love. And I used to be a Hoya hater. I used to be like, why does anybody like Hoyas? Kind of like how I am nowadays with Anthuriums. Anthuriums just aren't my thing. I like can appreciate them, but I don't have a desire to own one right now. Who knows? It could be like Hoyas and one day I will be into them. But as for as of right now, Anthuriums just, I don't have a desire to own one. I can appreciate them from afar. To, the, um, most of them just look so similar that I'm just like, doesn't interest me. But who knows, maybe down the line I will be a full-blown anthurium head. But yeah, so Hoyas, I love them. And um, I don't, like, they're definitely not the biggest, obviously, in my collection of plants that I have, mostly because I wasn't into them for the longest time. Um, but now that I do have them and have some that are that grow really, really well, I love them. Um, I'm not like obsessively trying to collect them like it's more if I am at a plant shop and I see a Hoya that I'm like oh, that's so beautiful I need that then I'll buy it um I do have a couple on my list that I want I want the um polyneura the fishtail one and I would also really like the I think it's Wyetii tricolor I think those are so pretty but I'm just very picky about the condition that I buy them in um I've had a couple bad experiences with Hoyas I think it's most I think it's just been two different Hoyas that I coincidentally own now but um it's just I find that if I purchase them and they're they don't start off in a great condition it can be hard for me to rehab them so I have to buy a Hoya in like really good condition in order to for it to survive <laughs> which sounds kind of bad but because i'm new to hoyas i mean i feel like that makes sense so let's start off actually by this one that's behind me this is my giant hoya pubicalic splash um i'll kind of show you i'm not gonna pick it up because like it's huge like i said but this guy is my oldest hoya this i believe is the first hoya i ever bought this is what made me fall in love with hoyas because it literally has just exploded with growth um I believe it was a little six inch when I got it but um yeah like as you can see it's giant and um it's done really really well in my care I have yet to get a Hoya to bloom um I feel like if anyone is going to it's gonna be this guy but I don't have any peduncles so who knows um but yeah I really really love it it's huge I've had this in multiple videos. I have made a video when I trellis this, so I don't need to show you that one super in close, up close. But I did take some cuttings from that and I did pot them up. This was actually in another video as well. So this is more Hoya pubicalic splash. And I just love how they grow. Like, I don't know what, like they just, I don't know, something about how they start out so tiny. Like you can kinda, you can see one right here see this little baby leaf like they start off so tiny and then they just turn into these giant leaves and they're just so adorable I love how it puts out like a, a, a vine to like reach out for something before it puts the leaves out something about it is just so cute and then they get like they can get these really really big splashy leaves like that is just so pretty to me and they're thick and juicy and I really love the growth pattern of Hoyas. I am a full-blown Hoya lover now, um, but this one just makes me so happy. Like, it's just a baby version of this. Like, it's literally the same exact plant. It's from this plant, but they just grow so wonderfully. And like, I love how they get so, like the leaves just like overlap over each other and it's just really thick and juicy 
and like the leaves are really thick. It just makes me so happy. So, way a pubic alex splash. I have big boy and little boy and they both make me so stinking happy. So the next one is uh, actually one that I've had. This is the second uh, plant, the second time I have bought this plant. The first time I had a really, really giant one. I got it from a nursery that I don't, I've talked about before. I don't feel that they were, um, they were, they were a nursery that's like exploded during the pandemic and grew really, really big. And I think they were never really in it because they cared about plants. They were just in it for the money. So they, anytime I went after like the initial, you know, like first couple times that I went there and like everything looked amazing and they just kept growing, growing, growing. Every time I would go there, the plants just looked so terrible. And so I do still have um, a good amount of plants that have survived that I bought from that nursery, but I mean, I, I moved now, so I'm not even in the same state, but um, even before I moved, I stopped going there just because I was like, I don't feel like they actually take care of these plants. But the plant that I had bought was the Hoya Hindu Rope, AKA Hoya Compacta, Carnosa Compacta. And I had a really, really thick, beautiful, big one. And I repotted it and it literally just died, like straight up died. Um, I don't think it was because I repotted it. I think it was on its way out when I purchased it, but it still looked like really beautiful, but I didn't look at the roots. Um, so I, I don't know. But anyways, I repot, I repurchased this one. This one I got from Pigment. No. It was either Plantology in Oceanside or landmark in Oceanside. One of those two I bought because I bought two Hoyas in one day <laughs> and this was one of them. Um, it has grown so much like when I first bought it there was like nothing past here so all of this is new growth and all of this is new growth so it's just like thriving. Um, I do have it in a in no drainage in a Starbucks cup. I don't know if you'll be able to see. There's some little roots that are starting to grow and like they're peeking through. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but they're super small. But um, yeah, it's doing so well. There's some down in the LECA. There you go, you can probably see that right there, down in the LECA. Um, and it's just doing so much better and I love this plant so much. Um, I'm kind of thinking of propagating it so that I can have a fuller plant. But something about propagating Hoyas I have, I'm like, I feel like I'm 50-50. Sometimes it works really, really well. Sometimes it doesn't at all. So that's one I'm a little bit scared of, but as of right now, it's just so pretty and I love it. It's just so unique looking. Like, it's crazy. There was a spider that was living in this one, a spider, not a spider mite. But, um, so there's some, there were some webs on there that I just kind of like got off. But, um, he was living in like the little curled leaf. It was really cute, but I think he died. So yeah, cause I don't see him anymore. Poor guy. Um, he was probably protecting this plant from any pests, but this is my second Hoya, Hoya Hindu rope, or I guess technically third, but you know, second type of Hoya. Okay, the next one is also one that I have had a terrible past with, and this is Hoya Curtisii. Um, I have mine growing up a little trellis. Um, it's put out a lot of new growth since I put it up the trellis. I don't know, can you see how new that leaf, that stem and those leaves are? And then there's some here too. And it's putting out new growth down here at some of the stems. This one I had, uh, I had tried to purchase from Plant Arena and they sent me a like 90% dead plant and refused to give me a refund until I waited a couple weeks to see if it would survive. It did not because like I said, it was dead. Um, so I was a little bit bummed, but I did eventually repurchase and it was, it took a little while to get going, but now that it has climbed up and it has a happy little place in my kitchen, it's been doing super well. Um, I find that no drainage really works well for me with Hoyas. The only one that is in drainage is this guy, um, just because he's so big, but like, now that I know how to like take care of them and not overwater them or underwater them, 
they do really well and I'm so happy because the Catrice eye is just so cute because like this leaf shape is just so funky and adorable and like cute so I love that one a lot okay another one that I did propagate and extend is my Hoya Obavada it's so pretty oh my god literally I'm just gonna say this about all my Hoyas because they really are they make me so happy um I just love how they grow and they're just so funky looking and like these leaves are so cute because they're just like little circles like this one is like a perfect circle almost and yeah so it's just cute yeah so I propagated this from the end of that and uh it's doing really well I potted it up back up in this guy and you can I don't know if you'll be able to see that it's so tiny but there's a new stem starting so yeah this guy's just loving life um I wanted to buy like a giant one but I kind of like you know starting small and making my own giant uh Hoya so eventually I will have a giant one of this but for now ah uh, it's just so pretty and it's just I don't know something about how funky they grow just really oh makes me love them so Hoya Obavada the next one I have is a Hoya Croniana Splash this one also like really took a turn after I purchased it um but we're kind of starting to come around I think at the beginning I overwatered it and so like half of it died but the half that survived is doing really well and like putting out new plants new leaves new stems like these are new guys right here and uh, I think I'm starting to get the hang of this guy it's just so pretty because this one is like so splashy that it's like almost that the dark part is the splash part rather than the light part don't focus on my face but yeah, it's like really small, but I love it. Um, I probably should get like a trellis to grow it up, but it does seem like it is still putting out new growth on the end. So it's weird because I felt like I heard somewhere that like Hoyas don't like to grow down. They only like to grow up. So some of them, I feel like, like the pubicalyx, like if you don't train it up, like the little um, new growth dies off. But like my Carnosa Compacta, it's growing, it's not growing up anything and it's just like growing fine. So I don't know, I'm kind of trying to figure out like which ones like to go up and which ones like to go down. And then the last one that I have is another one where it was doing really good but it wasn't really growing that much and then it kind of just like took off. I think this might be another one that likes to be like grow up something, I'm not sure. But this is a Hoya Macrophylla and it's really pretty. I love it. These leaves are like so like chunky and then they have like the veins on them and then the white on the outside. Um, I think I probably need to get some sort of trellis for this guy. But where he is right now there's not a whole lot of space for one so I'll probably have to move him. But it is um, on my plan to get this guy growing up something so that he can kind of take off. And I just really think he's in a cute, I mean, he's not like potted in this pot, but I keep him in it because he's a little top heavy and it's just so cute. Yeah, this one was a uh, subject to my dog's tail whipping off a piece of it. That was a little annoying, but other than that, I think we're doing pretty good. It is a little dusty. Let me dust that off. But these leaves are just really big. So I do like that. I think it maybe was getting a little bit too much sun so it's a little bit like bleached but now that I moved it over here I think it will be getting better sun for that. Ah. Okay so that is my small little collection of Hoyas that I love very dearly. Um, let me know which which Hoya of mine was your favorite and what is your favorite Hoya that you own or like the one that you really really want because um, like I said, I'm relatively new to the world of Hoyas. I've had this one like maybe two years, but I'm relatively new to the world of Hoyas and I'm always looking out for new and cute ones. So let me know in the comments down below and thank you guys so much for watching.